Release the related videos as soon as possible. Please stay connected to our website and social media platforms for any new information in regard to this investigation. A euro while many wanted to continue the Memorial Day celebration, BRPD is investigating a reported shooting in the 1800 block of North 15th Street where it was reported one person was sent to the hospital in critical condition. The details of the motive and identity of the victim have not yet been released. All shootings and incidents are still under investigation. The number of homicides has been rapidly increasing since the start of the year and with summer here many officials say those numbers will increase. A 17-year-old has been arrested in connection with a fatal shooting April 29 on Florida Street allegedly. This content is allegedly and for educational purposes only. Micah Bell was arrested and booked into East Baton Rouge Parish Prison on Thursday on counts of second-degree murder and illegal use of a weapon. Officers responding to reports of a shooting about 7.20 a.m. April 29 in the 1600 block of Florida Street found 34-year-old Tedrick Davis dead at the scene from a gunshot wound. The capital city has seen an increase in homicides and violent crimes in the first few months of 2024. The first quarter had 33 homicides, double the count for the same period in 2023. The Baton Rouge Police Department is investigating a shooting in Baton Rouge that left one person injured Thursday, May 30. The shooting occurred around 5.15 p.m. Thursday in the 1900 block of Plank Road in Baton Rouge. According to BRPD, a man suffered a non-life-threatening gunshot wound from the shooting. BRPD said that no motive or suspect has been identified in this case. Baton Rouge ain't slowing down no time soon apparently when it comes to the violence. East Baton Rouge Parish saw 170 homicides in 2021. Historically, Baton Rouge is what I would call one of the leading-edge cities for floaters a euro because of socio-economic history, where you get this sort of concentrations of people, again, who have no institutional attachments, no connections to any institutions in our society, a euro there a euro has been a history of violence as a slightly more acceptable method to resolve problems in young men. For example, in the South, including Baton Rouge, a euro look at every other list that Louisiana and Baton Rouge are on, a euro, literacy, poverty, all of those things, Louisiana euro s either at the top or the bottom of where you don't a euro t want to be wallet hub ranks Louisiana 50th in education based on a point system that includes funding, graduation rate, test scores, dropout rates and other statistics. Louisiana also has a high rate of incarceration. A statewide effort to reduce that population has dropped it down to the second highest amount in the country. Simply locking people up is not going to work, it hasna euro t worked. If locking people up worked, then Louisiana would have the lowest crime rate in the United States, a euro warning of increased gang violence, Baton Rouge police plan, heavy presence, in targeted areas. As deadly shootings spike, the city's police chief says his investigators believe more violence may be in store amid an increase in gang activity. Data shows that Louisiana has almost three times more murder crimes compared to the national average. In Louisiana, murder crimes are 2.8 times more than the national average. Baton Rouge ranks high for two types of crime a euro, murder and burglary. According to data, the city has almost six times more murder crimes and four times more burglary crimes compared to the national average. The East Baton Rouge Coronera Euro S website reported 106 homicides in 2023, down from 135 in 2022. Other ways the city works to reduce violent crime is through community-based groups like the Baton Rouge Community Street Team and the implementation of security cameras with artificial intelligence technology to spot guns. I hope you enjoyed the content be sure to smash the like and subscribe button and thank you for tuning in.